All right, I might as well start the new or the you the year with a story um, a story out of California and uh, um, uh, out of the stupidity of the Biden administration. Uh, if you look at the uh, if you look at uh, you know uh, one of the latest bills, the the the, the Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, I think it's the Inflation Reduction Act. You will find buried in the Inflation Reduction Act a a, a line item, uh, not for a lot of money, just three point one billion dollars. $3.1 billion, which is penny change in, um, in Congress these days. Anyway, $3.1 billion that uh, have been awarded by the White House uh, to California High-Speed Rail Project. Now, High-Speed Rail Project in California is an interesting project, right? The idea was, uh, it was, it was uh, this, uh, the idea was to build a, a high-speed railroad between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Now, this is a brilliant idea. San Francisco and Los Angeles are, uh, you know, uh, uh, close to one another, relatively close to one another. The, the traffic in San Francisco and in L.A. is horrific. So getting to the airport, getting out of an airport adds a huge amount to the commute uh, to get in and out of, uh, out of L.A. and San Francisco. You could take rail from uh, downtown San Francisco all the way uh, to downtown L.A. with a high-speed rail. It should be, it should be super fast. Uh, just like in Japan, um, just like in parts of Europe, uh, you would think that the United States would have one piece of, an, a, you know, high-speed rail somewhere, and, and this makes complete sense and uh, should, be, should be something that somebody does. Well, the state of California decided it was going to do it, and California voters authorized a $10 billion uh, bond issue for the train in 2008. Um, I voted against it in 2008. Anyway, the, the original total estimate for construction, all of it, from San Francisco to L.A., was $33 billion. Now, that $33 billion was the initial estimate. As construction on this project began, uh, or, or even before construction, as more investigation into the project was pursued, the uh, cost of the project rose to $100 billion. That's a big, that's three times, from $33 billion to $100 billion. And then they said, okay, um, we still want to do San Francisco, Los Angeles, and we're actually going to make this more ambitious, and we're going to extend the rail to Sacramento and to San Diego. And wow, they, th this was going to be amazing. I mean, really amazing. You could get on a train to San Francisco, in, in San Diego, and go to go to San Francisco, uh, probably the same time or less than a airplane. And given security and given everything else, probably less time than an airplane. Um, and wow, I mean, this is this is major. Uh, at the time when all of this was proposed, Phase One, the Los Angeles to San Francisco portion, was supposed to be completed by 2020. 2020. Hi. Um, anyway, so uh, then they they realized, look, this is this is going to be really hard, and getting into Los Angeles and getting into San Francisco, we, we're going to have to dig tunnels, and and how are we going to get there? How are we going to actually get into Los Angeles? We're going to have to dig underneath Los Angeles. It's going to be really really hard. Maybe we can have a slow rail from like the outskirts of Los Angeles into the main city. But then that defeats the whole high speed concept. So, and the same with San Francisco. So they were gonna do slow rail. Well, that's kind of stupid. So then I said, okay, okay, okay. So what we'll do, since we can't really solve all these problems, is we're gonna just start with a piece of this. We're gonna start with a piece of it. And we're gonna build a rail from Merced to Bakersfield. Now, Merced is basically 130 miles from San Francisco uh, it drive, and Bakersfield is 110 miles from Los Angeles. And they said, at least we'll have that piece done. Why you would want that piece, nobody can say, because nobody actually wants to go to Merced, and nobody actually wants to go to Bakersfield, and certainly nobody wants to go from Merced to Bakersfield. These are two towns in the middle of nowhere, literally in the middle of nowhere. That piece, that segment, which is flat, easy, no tunnels, 
no underground, no nothing, straight. That segment, which is the easiest segment to build, uh, was going to cost $22.8 billion. <sighs> then they said, okay, they started that. The, the construction is actually happening on that. And then they said, okay, but if we're going to extend this to San Francisco and Los Angeles, that's probably going to take another 15 to 20 years. So now, instead of 2020, we're looking at 2040. T 15 to 20 years. And it's going to cost three times as much as projected, not $100 billion, maybe $300 billion. And there's no way we're going to be able to do it all high speed. There's going to be slow segments. Um, anyway, you can see this keeps going. Um, uh, even the segment between Mesa to Bakersfield, it looks like they're going to need 10 to $12 billion extra to complete that. Um, and, um, it, you know, we're 2024 and nothing has been completed. Nothing has been completed. Um, and uh, the whole thing is just an unbelievable fiasco and is illustrative of the fact that uh, in California, you cannot build anything. It's not you didn't build that. Nobody builds anything in California. So on top of all this, the Biden administration has decided to take this money pit that will actually result in nothing, maybe a fast train to nowhere, which is what I consider Merced and Bakersfield, a fast train to nowhere that will cost who knows how much, 30, 40, 50 billion dollars, They've decided to throw in a little bit of your taxpayer money, those of you who do not live in California, uh, and those of you who do, into the mix. I mean, where there's a, you know, a sinkhole of money, you might as well throw more money at it. Why? What the hell? Why not? It's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. And, and nobody, nobody has any sense of what they're doing, why they're doing it, how they're doing it. In, in, in Florida... Uh, they built uh, some rail privately. Um, in, in Texas, they're talking about private high-speed rail, from, but they've been talking about this for 20 years, from Houston to Dallas to Austin to San Antonio to Houston. That triangle should be supplied by, by, uh, by high-speed rail, but again, it should be private because this is what happens. California is a good example of what happens when you let the government do it and when you have the kind of environmental regulations that California has. All right.